Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Jeremy Scott Fitness Podcast and Radio Show. We're coming to you on this Friday here, and we're actually going to be video recording uh, not every podcast we do, but a handful of them for sure, just so you guys can, I guess if you're on the YouTube page and you guys don't you know, have access to the podcast or you're somewhere you actually want to watch me ramble on through this, you guys are going to need the opportunity too, so uh, this will be on there as well. But if you guys are listening... Uh, real quick before we kick the podcast off today, BJ Gadur and myself are doing an event here in Scottsdale, Arizona on January the 12th, 2019 here, so just about a month and a half from now. Uh, like a one-day intensive, uh, like elite fitness uh, workshop kind of seminar where we're going to kind of put together, answer your guys' questions, so a lot of the content will be curated based on, you know, what you guys ask for, essentially, and then obviously, you know, building up all the fitness nutrition, uh, kind of the mobility hacks, all the recovery things, all the things that we think are important for you guys to basically bulletproof your body through life. If you're a fitness professional, I think this is a great opportunity for obviously if you guys to come meet us, kind of see how we, you know, do our stuff, how we do our programming, run our businesses and, and training and everything kind of wrapped up into one. So again, if you guys are interested in that, shoot me a DM, send me a message as soon as possible. We're going to keep the group extremely small. Uh, but again, we want to give you guys the opportunity to meet us, you know, train with us alongside of it, meet a bunch of other people, you know, who are like-minded in fitness and just have an awesome time uh, and just rip it and walk away with hopefully a foundation of skills you guys can have uh, for the rest of your life. And obviously, uh, we'll do some face melting stuff uh, in between there. So it'll be pretty cool. So if you're interested, shoot me a message, uh, you know, just message, hey, I heard about it on the podcast. And uh, we'll do a little uh, added benefit for the, the podcast listeners who request uh, access to the event. Again, it's January 12th. It'll be here in Scottsdale at Jeremy Scott Fitness, where I am currently. And uh, BJ and myself will be here ripping it and rocking and rolling. So with that said, uh, today's podcast, I'm going over must books, or excuse me, must read books, essentially. So books that I think are crucial for you guys to pick up and, you know, read through. And, and admittedly, uh, you guys, I read like a, like a six-year-old. So I do Audible for 99% of these books. It's just how I roll. I learn better that way. Like in school, I thought it was terrible when I always had to read certain things. And I just couldn't retain the information uh, the best way possible. So for me, Audible has been a savior. Audible and podcasts are probably the, the number one and two ways that I, you know, consume content uh, through stuff. And I think uh, if you guys are that person, I would go the Audible route. If you're a person who picks the books up and actually reads them, uh, these are great for that too. So for me, per year, uh, I consume about a hundred books, and I've done about a hundred books every year for probably about the past three years. Um, so again, for me. Of those hundred or so, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, I probably am listening to about 90% of those and maybe reading, you know, five to six books total, typically the shorter ones and the easier ones to read and the thicker stuff um, I listen to anytime I can. That's why I think podcasting is great when I'm, you know, in traffic, at the airport, in line at the grocery store, if I'm walking my dog, anytime I can get a chance to consume the content, um, I'll typically do it. And that's helped me level up, you know, multiple areas of my life. And I think uh, a lot of these books can do the same. So, um, and again, I get asked all the time, you know, about what the books I read, what I suggest, which ones have helped me. So I put together a list here of about 17 uh, to 20 books, I think, that are must reads for you guys. Easy pickups and things that you can apply to, you know, multiple areas of your life. If you guys want to know about something specific book wise, you know, hit me up, shoot me a message. I'm happy to, you know, share that with you. But without further ado, these would be kind of my top, you know, 20 ish books I think you guys can uh, check out. So, number one, uh, shameless plug here, I'm going to go with Make Success Mandatory, the book that uh, I have written. If you guys have not read it yet, uh, you know, you can pick it up on Amazon, they'll ship it to you. It, I wrote it, so obviously it's a super simple, easy read. Uh, but again, it's basically just you guys. You know, if you give it, you know, probably two, three hours, some of you guys maybe four hours to dig into the book and read it. Um, it might be stuff you guys have heard before. Obviously, if you listen to the podcast this long, we're in, you know, over 100 episodes at this point. Um, but I promise you guys it'll spark something inside of you. Uh, if nothing else, it's going to be a reminder uh, of you guys to do the things you actually, you say you want to do and you're going to do and actually put the pieces into place. So the book is called Make Success Mandatory, Discovering Your Gift and Giving It Back to the World. Written by me, pretty basic. And if you guys uh, want to free copy, shoot me a message, and if uh, you'll do one or two things for me, uh, we can probably ship you out one here sometime before the end of the year. Book number two, uh, The Go-Getter, uh, which to me, if you guys you know love storytelling, this is a legit uh, storytelling book that you guys will enjoy. If you consider yourself like a hustler or somebody who goes out there and grinds and wants to work their ass off, this would be the book for you. Or if you're just somebody who you know, wants to hear a really good story of, you know, perseverance and in, uh, in getting things done, I think you guys should pick this up, especially if you guys are out there, maybe 
you're an entrepreneur, uh, you want to work for yourself, you want to make the jump, you want to do something different, it, it's a great story of hearing somebody go through multiple obstacles and hurdles just to get the job done. I think like anybody you look who's been successful through life, uh, this is kind of the, you know, a tried and true story that can be told at any point. Now, the, the book is dated, you know, decades ago, but it's still very applicable today and it is uh, an easy read and uh, a quality one as well. Book number three. We're going to talk about uh, the undefeated mind. This is probably you know one of my all-time favorite listens or reads, depending on which way you want to look at it. Um, it's an amazing look at how we think, and more important, why we do what we do. And it'll have you guys thinking outside of the box, and if nothing else, just questioning a maybe your belief system, maybe the way of life. So how is just grabbing it uh, and improving how you see the world, and more importantly, seeing the things that are important to you uh, in life. So again, the book's called The Undefeated Mind. Again, if you guys. I'm listing these off rather quickly. If you guys are confused and say, oh, I don't remember what he said or what was that book, obviously you can rewind it back. Or if you go to the Jeremy Scott Fitness blog, or if you go on Google and type in, I want to say the name of this podcast. Let me look at my show notes here. The name of the podcast or the name of the blog would be 17 Must Read Books um, by me. So you can just type that in or, or Jeremy Scott, you know, must read books, and they should pop up on Google relatively quickly. Book number four on the list. Extreme Ownership. Uh, this is a popular book. Some of you guys might be familiar with it. Some of you guys might not. Uh, I remember like when my man, Mike Rousseau, uh, PhD, suggested that I pick this up and it was uh, an amazing read. Again, uh, great storytelling, um, but if you ever want to, I would say, run your own business or, you know, work as part of a team and like legitly be like a linchpin in that team. Uh, this is a book unlike any other. The stories in it are amazing, but ultimately, obviously, you can tell by the name Extreme Ownership, it comes down to you just owning you. So whether your life, uh, you know, is awesome right now or your life sucks shit right now, uh, basically just, it basically puts it all on you. And when you guys can get to a place of where um, you take responsibility and accountability for everything you're doing, um, it's a pretty awesome place to be because then you know you can't blame anybody else and it's nobody else's fault that you did this or you did that. So I think Extreme Ownership is an amazing book uh, for that. If nothing else, the stories are uh, are pretty amazing to hear and it puts uh, perspective on your life and where you're currently at. Book number five, The Secret to Success uh, by Eric Thomas. Now, if you guys obviously know E.T., um, he's a motivational guy, like he gets up, he speaks. Uh, but this is a pretty good book, uh, you know, kind of behind the success of Dr. Eric Thomas. Um, you know, this is a dude who was once homeless eating out of trash cans, and now, you know, he's one of the top motiv motivational speakers in the world, if not the top uh, motivational speaker. I've seen a lot of people, you guys, across the board, uh, from Tony you know, Robbins to, you know, Chris Hogan to Hardy. Uh, you name it. And uh, I've seen E.T. live too. He is uh, definitely one of the best. And the book is great, especially if you do the Audible version. Uh, he's reading it and going through it, which is pretty cool uh, to kind of hear. Book number six. We're talking The Obstacle is the Way. Again, great storytelling with a, a basic, powerful message. I think it can truly help anyone uh, in any walk or arena of life. And basically, it just goes to say that, you know, the problem is the way through it. Essentially that the obstacle or the issue you're having, that's the game, you guys. It's like if you can overcome that obstacle or the roadblock or the perceived failure or the stress, that's what changes us and that's what allows us to be awesome the next time and the next time. It's kind of like the fail fast and fail forward scenario where it's like we often, you know, we fear failure and we don't want to suck or be terrible at things, but it's like in the gym when we train to the point of failure, the muscle fatigues, it grows depending on how we eat and we sleep, it, it builds up to be stronger and bigger over time. The obstacle is the way is the same thing. And again, another great collection of stories of, you know, pretty amazing humans through time and how they basically overcame all the obstacles to, to become the person that they are. Book number seven. Uh, minimalism. Uh, again, I think they now have a, a document on this on Netflix. I have not seen it yet, um, but I followed their stuff, you know, for many years uh, back in the day when it was just, I think, was just their blog or newsletter, and then it turned into a book, and then I think they obviously have a podcast, and then obviously it's on Netflix as well. But minimalism, uh, and basically live a meaningful life is kind of their the tagline there. Uh, it's just a great story of two dudes who gave up uh, the world essentially, you know, uh, or I guess the world that they thought they should be in for an actual true meaningful life and I highly suggest for you guys all of you listening to this, uh, I would pick this up for sure, just for the fact of, I think if, if you're in America right now and you know we're in this, uh, the propped up economy of stuff and we, we've forgotten how 
how bad things can get sometimes or, or how, I guess I'll put it this way, we've forgotten how much we really have. You know, we're all walking around with $1,500, you know, smartphones, we're all driving, you know, nicer cars, living in, you know, houses where there's probably two or three rooms we don't walk into, um, drawers and garages and closets just full of stuff and clothes and shit. We have 14 pairs of shoes and seven pairs of pants. And again, I'm not against stuff and bagging that you guys, but we have so much. And this book is basically just, you know, brings you back to, you know, minimizing your life of the stuff in replacement of happiness, experience, and real things. And I think the first dude, I'm trying to remember the, the exact story they share in it, was like one of the first minimalism guys. He took everything that he had in his house and put it in a box, uh, like one big giant box, like all the stuff. And what it was, was anything he didn't use in a six month span from that very first day, he got rid of. So he was left with such minimal things as he went through the process, which is pretty amazing. Now, again, obviously I think that's extreme for a lot of you guys, but if there's stuff that's been sitting in your closets they haven't been wearing for three or four years, do you really need that shit? If there's stuff in a drawer, you know, like chargers or cords, like we all do, we, we collect junk drawers and different things. If you haven't used that stuff in six months, a year, two years, or three years, why are we still holding on to it? Why is it still around? And so again, it's not just minimalizing just the material stuff. Uh, there's a lot of things in play there. So uh, it's a great book and, and an awesome overall listen. Book number eight, we're talking Love Yourself like your life depends on it. That's the title. And the title kind of says it all, you guys. It's a very direct, uh, straight to the point, interesting uh, to say the least listen, but it's a quick, easy listen, or it's a quick, easy read um, that digs into the core of you as the person and just kind of more in the kind of the self, you know, helpery uh, category, I guess, if you will. But again, um, I think it's worthwhile for a lot of you guys, especially if you've been going through some shit and we all have at some point, it's just a nice reminder, uh, you know, to, uh, to take care of yourself and speak to yourself in a certain way and to allow yourself to live the life that you truly want to. Book number nine. This is an important one for you guys. I would urge you all to pick it up uh, if you care about finance whatsoever. Uh, the Millionaire Next Door. Um, I love quality, legit uh, finance books that give you, you know, a very basic understanding that you can apply to your daily life. Uh, if you truly want to be you know, wealthy in terms of, of dollars, and I mean like financial wealth, uh, in the investments and the assets. Uh, this money, you know, it's, uh, the book is amazing. It gives you a better perspective on money and what to do with it and how to live it. And just oftentimes we think it's like the home run thing. Like we have to have this amazing idea or do something crazy or, you know, earn, you know, $400,000 a year to be rich and to be wealthy and to become a millionaire. And we truly don't. It, it's the basis of how we live our life, the daily practices, habits, the rituals, the power of compounding, very simple things. And again, the stories you guys in here are uh, are pretty amazing. If you guys can't tell, I love storytelling books, things that kind of paint a, a, a picture, whether it be, you know, with words, uh, you know, on page or obviously, you know, uh, audible words. I just think it's amazing to be able to hear, you know, real life people go through stuff and see, you know, how some people are lessons and some people are examples. And this is a great uh, book for that. Book number 10, You Are a Badass uh, by Jen Sincero. Um, I love Jen, uh, I love this book. Uh, she keeps it real, 100% uh, raw, uncut, and kicks you guys the straight, no bullshit stuff. I would say like, she'd be like the gangster female version of me, uh, if you will. Okay, the book is very well written, it's awesome. It's Again, she shares a lot of stories inside of it. Um, and if you can take the heat from her honest truth uh, about being a badass, um, I would buy it. Uh, and you can thank me later for it. If nothing else, it'll make you feel like a gangster and it'll make you guys be more powerful, more confident. And if nothing else, hopefully let you be more clear on what you're trying to do with your life and which way you should go. Book number 11. This one is called Rhinoceros Success. Uh, so it's a little bit different, um, but it's a great take presented in like a most amazing way on, on how to be successful in all reality. Uh, for all my hustlers out there who, or who wanna be hustlers and grinders and for the hard workers, uh, this book is for you guys. Uh, if you want to get motivated in a new way, this is a, a fun, easy read um, that I typically go back to over and over and over again. Again, this is admittedly one of the very few books uh, that I've actually read and not went through on Audible. I actually read through this one. It's an easy read uh, and it's kind of a fun read. It almost reminds me uh, of a children's book. Again, it's called Rhinoceros Success and it basically just tells you how to be a rhinoceros rhinoceros and just charge this shit through life and just fucking crush it. So um, give it a read and uh, you guys let me know what you think. Book number 12, uh, Letters to a Friend. 
uh, in my opinion, probably the best book by Tony Robbins or, or the best book I think he's ever put out. Now, obviously, you can go down the tracks of, uh, you know, like if you like Money Mastery or something, but that's a little bit more detailed. There's a lot of uh, beta in there that doesn't really interest people. This is a more of the books for you guys who are looking to get off your ass and, and do things and live, uh, you know, a more fulfilled, more meaningful life. Uh, and I've read every book he's ever put out and uh, they all have benefits. However, this one is a very simple read that you can absorb all of the information the first time through relatively quickly. You can also go back and reread it or at least make notes in the sections you like. And again, um, you can put this into action within minutes of reading it. Even if you went through, you know, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and you saw one or two things, you can take it and just rip it right from there. And again, what I would suggest you guys to do is, obviously for the YouTube writing, it's like, you'll take little, little post-it notes. Um, I'll stick it into a lot of the books that I read. I'll make a note, okay, boom. Or if, if you have the book that's yours, just write right in it um, with a highlighter, with a pen, whatever it is. Um, but just going over it and saving, okay, I'm gonna come back to this, or I remember this, or I can share this with somebody. I think it's awesome when you guys go through stuff, if, if something sparks your brain or if inspiration grabs you in the moment, you just stop right there, jot it down. A lot of times I do it on my phone now. I might be driving down the street when I leave here and some idea comes to me of what we should do for our business. Like, hey, you know, you guys requested it, we're gonna film the podcast like we're doing currently. And I'll just, I'll pop up my phone, I'll talk on video to myself or I'll record like a voice message and then I'll play it back later. I think with books, it's the same thing. So even having a pen or a highlighter with you or sticking the post-its in there is a great little hack uh, and a reminder you know, to come back to it or at least focus on it and drill down on it for a later day. Book uh, 13 here. We're gonna go with The Tony Money Makeover by my man, Dave Ramsey of Ramsey Solutions. Again, uh, I love Dave Ramsey and if you guys want a legit super, super basic practical advice of how to get out of debt, save money, and live life on your own terms, I would order this book today. Audible, uh, the written version, whatever works best for you guys. And trust me, the advice in here is sound. Uh, you can apply it you know, directly to your life right away. And again, if you want to get deeper into it, uh, I'm a huge Ramsey guy. Uh, I'm a huge, I'm not huge on debt, you guys. I hate uh, loans. I hate financing anything. We typically never do it. Um, I'm trying to live my life completely debt free, pay for things in cash. And just if I don't, if I can't afford it, I don't buy it. And, and that's allowed me to have a certain level of freedom and a certain level of success when I don't have to, you know, sell you guys products and huck shit and do a bunch of horse shit stuff just to make fucking money. If I'm, if you're in debt, you guys, as you're going through your life, like you're in debt for your car, um, your house and, you know, credit cards and clothes and stuff and trips, it, it changes how you think about life and it changes how you feel about life. It really puts you in a box and the, the way you run your business is different. The way you live your life, the way you sleep is different. Again, I'll never tell you guys how to spend your time or spend your money, but I can say this to you. When you don't have you know, consumer debt, uh, when you don't have student loan debt, when you don't have mortgages, when you don't have a bunch of things weighing you down, you are free to do what you want and actually live a better life. And again, that might mean you guys are driving you know, an older car or wearing older clothes for a while or living in a smaller house until you get to that point, but I promise you it's completely worth it. For me, you know, could I you know, drive a Range Rover today brand new? For surely I could. Uh, but I don't. I drive a 2008 Honda Accord, which I'm a baller, by the way, for doing that. But the reason I don't is because it allows me to have cash to do other things. I can invest in, you know, commercial real estate or, you know, just normal real estate for that matter. Um, I can invest that money back into my business. I can invest it back into myself, which I think is the biggest ROI I've ever got. Me spending money on my education to be able to travel and learn has a, in turn, allowed me to make a shit ton more money than if I would just bought material stuff. So again, I think the Ramsey Solutions, all those guys from him to Chris Hogan, uh, even Chris, you right, all those guys are putting out great stuff. And again, if you guys go through the Tony Money Makeover or if it's like Financial Peace University, any of that stuff, uh, just walk you through the baby steps of how to get out of debt and just to feel safe. At the end of the day, you guys, all the stuff I listed is super cool, but the, the reason I don't put myself into uh, debt for the fact is I want to be able to sleep on a Tuesday night. I want to be able to sleep on a Wednesday night. I want to wake up at two in the morning worried about if, you know, this contract leaves me or this sponsorship goes, or if we lose six clients here, I can't pay the bills and I can't pay, you know, employees the money that I have to pay them. So for me, the peace of mind, and again, money doesn't buy happiness, but what it can do is buy you time and it can buy you a sense of security. And I think that's important for all of us. And again, oftentimes I think the stuff we buy limits us from living the life that we truly want to live, whether it's keeping up with the Joneses or just the stuff we bought now owns us, it owns our times, it owns our decisions. So take that for what it's worth, you guys. Uh, I think the Ramsey stuff is all legit. And again, he's not paying for me th for this. I wish he would, but uh, it's just my, my two cents to help you guys financially. Uh, book 14, 
uh, the E-Myth. And uh, I think there's, there's a huge series of these, uh, uh, all the E-Myth books, but the E-Myth, the original, um, if you ever want to start your own business or be your own boss, I would read this book as soon as possible. If you work for a small business or you ever, you know, I would say read this book. If you ever want to know how or why most small businesses do or don't work, I would read this book. Uh, I love it. It changed the way that I think about being a business owner. It breaks it down into steps for you guys, whether you're like the technician, the manager, or the owner. Now, again, when you first start out like I do with Jeremy Scott Fitness years ago, um, I was everything. I was the janitor. I was the accountant. I was the attorney. I was the technician. I was the vice president. I was the CFO. I was the owner. I was everything. And for a lot of you guys out there, that's that might be where you're at now. Um, and even if you're not, even if you have a, a bigger, you know, business, a bigger infrastructure, you have multiple employees, or maybe you have one or two, whatever it is, it just gives you perspective on how to run your business and, and how it should be run and the things that you're probably going through or have went through. So it's a nice uh, humbling reminder and it's a nice way to kind of level things up and go to the next level uh, in business if that is what you guys are into. Book 15. The book is called Lean In. My wife uh, sent this to me a long time ago. She read it and it's one of her favorite books all time. So, and again, I think dudes can benefit from it as well. I don't think it's just geared towards females, although it is, it, it kind of takes the female angle. Uh, so for all my ladies out there, uh, it's legit women's leadership book, uh, you know, talking life balance with family while being a badass at your job. Um, so if you're women and you have a family out there as well as a job, I think this will help you level up in, uh, in more ways than one. Book number 16. Uh, we're talking Think and Grow Rich. So for a lot of you guys, uh, this is a classic and it will stand the test of time. So if you ever want to read you know, one of the great mindset books ever written out there, I think uh, the book Think and Grow Rich, you can Google it, it'll pop up everywhere. Uh, it's ultimately a great read. And then uh, book 17 on the list, we're talking Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And the title kind of says it all. It's just a very classic uh, habit book that I think you guys can get a lot from uh, as you're kind of reading and rock and roll. Now, outside of that list, you guys, uh, those are probably the top quick 17 that we have listed here in the show notes. On my desk right now, if you guys are on YouTube, you can see I have three books here. Uh, they just happen to be sitting here today when I came in. This one is just on YouTube, Stock Wizards, uh, basically just stories uh, of kind of like the Americans, you know, top kind of stock trading stories. If you guys are into that stuff, some of you might not be. Um, also, Josiah Novak sent me a book recently where he gave me a plug for it. So thanks for that, brother. It's called Diet Suck which is uh, ultimately, as I've scrolled through it so far, very basic practical information that can benefit some of you guys. And the title's amazing. I wish I immediately would have stole it uh, because Diet Sucks is a great name. So I'm highly jealous of that. And I typically don't get jealous of things, but I wish I would have thought of that before him. And then the other book is just a little book called 1001 Ways to Success, which is basically just a collection of quotes. And I like little things like that, you guys, like the little calendar I put on Instagram all the time, or just little things. So again, even if it's not you know complete books or they're just little guides or things like that, I just think anytime you can grab inspiration or motivation or just education on tactical skills. Those are all things I would suggest to you guys as you're kind of rolling through. So for you guys who have been asking, you know, what I read or what I suggest to read, that is just a quick list off the top. Again, I go through about hundred books per year. So I have a ton more if you guys are say, Hey, Jeremy, what do you think about what's the best nutrition books or what's the best fitness books and what's the best mindset books or finance books or whatever the genre you're looking for is. I can share and give you guys my two cents. And, and I would say the same thing for when you're investing in education or things for yourself. Read things that, t the two things that the way I look at, you know, choosing or buying books, the two ways I go about it. One, I try to find something that I am generally interested in or that jacks me up or excites me or motivates me or something that I can take and apply almost instantly to my life, to my wife's lives, my friends, my family, but more importantly to the people here that we serve, whether it be you guys, our coaching clients on the internet or in person or wherever it is. And then the second way I look at, you know, buying things to educate myself or listen to or books for that matter is just what's going to benefit the end user. What's going to benefit the people I serve every single day. So what is going to benefit the people who walk through the doors of Jeremy Scott Fitness, the people who buy stuff online, the people who listen to the podcast. So for me, A1 selfishly, what's going to benefit me and my life directly, which two typically leaks to you guys. And then two, what benefits you guys the most? And that's kind of how I pick it. So anything else you guys want to hear in the podcast, just shoot me a message. I'm happy to record it if I can. If you're on iTunes right now, stop. Don't be a lazy ass. Drop us a five star. Leave a comment if you did the podcast. And if you want to share this with somebody else or share the book list with them, I'm happy for you to do that. Share the podcast. Or if you go to the blog, this is written here in detail and I have each of the links up here to every single book that I went through. So 
ton more stuff coming on the pipe, you guys, so be on the lookout for that. And uh, again, if you wanna hear something else, please just let me know, I'm happy to record it if I can. So until next time, you guys, eat well, train hard, be nice to people, and please, you guys, keep doing shit you love with people you enjoy because your life is too short not to. I'll talk to you guys soon, peace.